We are back in the northwest corner of the state as Great Falls Brewing Company recently opened their doors. Now, the last time something's brewing was in Canaan. They were completely under construction. Let's go see all the improvements they've made. Chris Triplo joining us now, co-owner of Great Falls Brewing Company. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Courtney. <laughs> so you've really come a long way here. Last time we were here, construction was going on, That's and right. you finally opened your doors. We have, and we've gotten to basically where we wanted to be. Uh, we got all the furniture brought in from various places, sort of this, the revitalization, which goes along with the theme of the brewery. Mm -hmm. We got this wonderful mug club board that got put up, and all the mug clubs were all sold out, which was great. You know, we've only been open two months, and we've been able to have a really spectacular opening. Is it everything you hoped and dreamed? Because I know anytime you open a brewery, we've seen this really from any of the brewers that we've talked to. It's such a long process. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is, and I wasn't prepared for some of the surprises. Sure. Um, the, fir the weekend opening, we had people in here from noon to midnight, and mm -hmm. it was packed and our staff was sort of scrambling and we were scrambling and we learned a whole bunch in a really short period of time. The whole reason we did this and, and sort of what I'm most pleased about is the community. You can come in here on the weekend and there's families playing cards over here and there's a couple over having a nice conversation and, and in town, folks who haven't seen each other for 10, 15 sure. years, all of a sudden, I haven't seen that person in so long. So it's become a big meeting spot now. We, we've done what we, yeah, it's, we, could have, we could have called it a meeting house. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Matt Bergfield joining us now, brewer extraordinaire. You've been really busy because you have 14 beers on track. Yes, yeah, it's been busy between opening and getting our tap board filled up. It's been a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, let's talk about four of them today. The okay. first, a hazy IPA. Yeah, we've got Land of the Long White Cloud. So it's a, a hazy, like you mentioned, and it's very uh, melon forward as far as its hop characteristics with like lemon zest as well. It's a really nice counterpoint to a lot of hazy IPA that's out there right now. Next is a mango double IPA. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. interesting. Right, well that one's a lot of fun. It's called Alfonso. Uh, it's 8% uh, huge mango character along with citra and mosaic hops. Uh, it's a really, really nice marriage of the two flavors. And then you're bringing sours into the mix now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so this is our second sour that we've made. It's called Passion Fruit Jelly Donut. I, I wanted to make a jelly donut in a beer, so it's got wheat, uh, wheat malt to sort of simulate your flour, and then it's got the passion fruit filling, uh, lactose, so it's got a nice round full body and a little bit of sweet finish, and there's a touch of uh, vanilla, house-made vanilla extract that I wow. made to sweeten it up. And last but not least, a s'more stout, which yeah. is good, I think, this time of year. Yeah, it's called Happy Camper, uh, and it's actually made with marshmallow fluff, uh, graham cracker crumbs, mm -hmm. and uh, Peruvian cocoa nibs from Chocolate Springs up in Lenox. We got it from a chocolatier up there. And it's a really nice sweet stout with a lot of good chocolate character. And then you top it with? Yeah, we toast a marshmallow <laughs> and put awesome. it right on top of the glass so that, you know, if you don't get enough marshmallow flavor from drinking the beer, you can just eat the marshmallow right, right up. <laughs> So Chris, you have an event coming up today, like this afternoon. <laughs> yes, February Fest. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Everybody else will be ready too. Yes, good, good, good. <laughs> so four to seven, and talk a little bit about what it's all about. So this is uh, Oktoberfest, sort of mm -hmm. a traditional <laughs> German-based food uh, company with our beers, uh, and it's intended to support the local, a lot of local nonprofits in the area, some education, um, and then just a good time for people to be in the brewery and hang out during the wintertime. Thank you again. This is always a fun time here. Thank you. We appreciate you. it. Yeah. And good luck. You guys are going strong. Two months, right? That's right. Yes. Two months. All right. Cheers. Something's Cheers. Cheers. Great Cheers. Brewery Company.